banner yeah there's they're doing a strife but it is the desecration of a priceless timepiece where i must draw the line i'm afraid i must now insist that you take your beating quite personally i guess it would have just stopped on just anyway right because uh she has done a lot of shit and Therese, yeah, basically just gave her what she deserved. <laughs> savor the moment. Ah, oh, yeah, this, I, I need to savor it. This is beautiful. <laughs> Who's to say? Yeah, I mean, that's true. <clears throat> you know why Jack killed her? Eh? That question was a huge point of drama in the fandom. Oh boy, I can imagine. The, the, the Riska fans. The Riska defendants, which I mean, to each their own. I'm not gonna say, tell anyone that what what is wrong or right when it comes to liking fictional characters and stuff like that. But eh, I just think it's good she's dead. She just she got what she deserved. <laughs> the Riska Riska discussion had to be quarantined on the what really? Wow. I guess that's why she is called a controversial character in the fandom, huh? I mean, I personally do not understand how you, how like someone could look at what she's doing and be like, "Ah, uh, yeah, you know, she's just awesome and stuff." And uh, <laughs> but yeah, I I just I just don't like her. For me, her type of character is the absolute worst, and I. Revel in the fact that she died, a death that was given to her by Teresi. Entire threads dedicated to Riska just to get it uh, out of the other threads. Riska is one of the most controversial characters in Homestuck as far as I'm aware. Yeah, I mean, I can completely understand that because uh, every character has fans. There are a lot of people who are into weird stuff from my point of view. I'm not gonna judge anyone. For what they like or dislike i can just talk about my personal opinion in this case and i just personally think she is hor horrible and she deserved the death and i do not enjoy her as a character she has her role in the entire story of course and for that fact i i i do not say like oh my god riska should not be there riska is horrible she should not exist it is fun to have a character to dislike as well but I just personally would not be able to understand anyone being like defending her for what she's done or something like that. That that is just something that's completely out of my personal line of understanding. Second most controversial <laughs> controversial <laughs> the cage. Yeah. Yep. Yep. Pretty much. <laughs> like I couldn't understand a Riska apologist. She is horrible, she did horrific things, she has her right to be in the story and everything, but I'm just like, yeah. Good fucking riddance! <laughs> Honestly! <laughs> okay. Break. Oh. Oh yeah, what was going up there? Yes, right? And break. Wow. Slam! Slamming so hard, there's pictures flying out of the book, and there's the little doggos flying out of the hat. Good riddance. <laughs> yeah. Uh, Riska, wait. Oops, hold on. Pentacle therapy. Oh my god, now I have to highlight John's text. Pentacle therapist ceased pestering Arachnid's grip. Actobiologist began pestering Arachnid's grip. Hey, uh, are you there? I have already said, but I can't tell if it worked. Hello? You didn't fly off to fight Jack yet, did you? I hope not. Anyway, all that stuff you said sounds fun to me. I have House of the Cage Flex in my library. I don't even care that you're an alien. You see, Cage is a universal concept which unites us all. Well, if you haven't flown away, I will be. Uh, I will look forward to your message in the future. It will be nice to talk about uh, all the stuff that happened. Uh, anyway, bye. <laughs> oh god! <laughs> hey! I'm a fucking hell, this is so insanely awkward and sad. Well, that is. Hang on. <laughs> oh my god, Sammy, hi! Wow! Hey, Sammy! Why are you, why are you, why are you speaking to us? Oh, wait. I forgot to look at the banner again. Oh, no, I did. 
heads. Chun text might be easy to read at a higher zoom level. You're correct. I think my cat wants food. Also, wow. <laughs> That's a lot of blood. Look at them. I'm cheering for them, even though it's probably not gonna go well. Pictures, pictures, pictures. Carcinogeneticists began trolling exobiologists. Hey! Hard cat! What was that you? Where's Riska? She... She what? Shit, I feel like an asshole for reading this whole thing. That whole thing. You mean, what you wrote? Cats always want to be fat even when they already have food in the bowl. Yeah, they might still have food in the bowl from earlier. I don't know. Maybe he just wants attention right now. I mean, carcat bound flies from pipe from the book. Yeah, <laughs> very convenient. Uh, well, that whole thing. You mean what you wrote? Yeah. Why are you snooping around the computer? Because, well, uh, so let me ask. Did you both actually like each other? Um, like, I mean, something vaguely resembling, resembling actual genuine mutual sentiment or whatever. Not some lopsided pining bullshit. What are you even talking about? If you like her, you win so catted shit mouth. That's what I'm asking. Oh, yeah. Why? Okay, that's fine. Then we'll talk about it later. Talk about what? I needed to be able to think straight. We have important shit to cover and I don't have much time. And so on. <laughs> wow! <laughs> Jack is eating shit here, huh? Not very much up there. Oh no. Auto Harley. Oh yeah, because she protects Dave. Yeah, because Jack cannot hurt her. There's so much going on at once now. There's like three stories going on at the same time. Alright, well, like what? Plans. What plans? Never mind that. First, get out of a fucking blackout to a place where I can see you. Leave now, I'll contact you in a while once you've landed. Landed where? Lohag, obviously. Oh, obviously. Well, how else do you think you're going to cause a scratch, idiot? Do you even have any clue what's going on? Wait, of course you don't. You're wearing pajamas and giggling at clouds like each one was shaped like the rudest bit of naked anatomy a human can recognize. No, I'm not. I mean, yes, I'm wearing some pretty nice pajamas, but I know lots of things like about the tumor, which I have already recovered. Wait, I, I mean, uh, the tumor... Wait, fuck, I, I mean, uh, screw it, you know, the big bomb and some other stuff like that. I'm totally in the loop. Great, awesome, now get going! So, I, I have to cause a scratch, huh? Okay, I'm done here. Talk to you in one second for me. One long, windy fucking journey for you. Press in the to see strong biologist. Because in the geneticists begin trolling experimentalists. Okay. Hi. You let me down, Slick. <coughs> oh. I dodge you a redshift. So this is a, a time and space double move, huh? Let's get down to business. Let's get down to business. <laughs> yeah, Doc for Smash. I, aren't you going to ask me how my journey was? No. It was long and windy, but a lot of fun. I really like flying. It's so much fun. Oh, I bet it is just the biggest fucking blast a guy can have without a pair of shank gloves secured in his, own, his two trembling fists. You uh, haven't tried it? Every douche got to fly, but me even a cripple. May, may he rest in peace, I fucking guess. We're using a frame with he. Ah. Now there are some new panels in the jumble of panels. Ah, <sighs> so many. Mm -mm -mm. Wait, is that the guy who Riska killed? Oh god, you actually know about that? You know why? Give the fuck about uh, fuck up trying to understand you, nerd. <laughs> why? I quick god damn it, will you shut your mouth and listen? Okay, but is something wrong? What? A while ago you talked to me and it sounded like you were in danger and it sounds like some people died. But you never told me what happened. Then I got distracted by a lot of crazy stuff. Yeah, something's wrong or was. A bunch of us died at the end. I don't really want to talk about it. Uh, are you sure? Yes, and not just because... Oh, the clock is rapidly ticking down to something we're calling the critical moment. And no, I don't know what, the what that is. The closer your reeking question, Geyser, before it asks. 
Uh, uh, but, uh, but I'm the friend, aren't I? Oh, God. Well, John, I can't handle talking about it, okay? I just got done uh, dealing with Gansi. I'm pre feeling pretty emotional about it, so please, no. Oh. Who is Gansi? He was my best friend. Uh, really? I, th I thought Therese was your best friend. Oh, uh, wait, maybe, maybe she was your girlfriend? I forget. My think pan, it hurts. It is presently threatening to make me its bitch, John. Is that what you want? You want your cool alien pal to become the bitch of a raw, throbbing think pan? Such as the, the scenario before us. Uh, sorry, I don't mean to be nosy. I, I just want to know some things about your situation. I'm concerned. <sighs> Gamzee was my very good friend. He was this goofy, lovable bullshit clown until he went psycho and killed some people. I liked him a lot. I don't know, I guess my best friend is really just a guy who I happen to be feeling most sentimental to at the moment. Is that a fucking crime? <laughs> no. Uh, wait. Uh, I, I think I know how you feel. So, he killed some people, and then what? So, then I... It's okay, you can tell me. John, trust me, you wouldn't understand. It's just a troll thing. Humans wouldn't get it. If I think I was a shithead now, I can deal with that now on top of everything, so let's drop it. Hmm, uh, okay, if you say so. Oh, uh, I can't believe I almost forgot. I've been dying to know since I left the battlefield. Do you know if Rose is okay? Did it work? Oh yeah, here, this panel is new. And... Yeah, this, this one here, I guess. Aw, oh, bonk. I thought I could rely on you of all people. <laughs> Doof. Oh, else? Then there's that loses. There's another doof. Yeah. <laughs> Smearing this doof. Dead mom. John flying. Oh. <clears throat> She's fine. She woke up alive on Durs. Really? That's the rule, John. You kiss a dead player in time and their dream self takes over. Assuming they still have one. Wait, your unfailing cluelessness makes it the opposite of credible, my mistake. So, uh, I, I guess it would not have worked with my dad then, uh, or Rose's mom. No, but that is exactly what I wanted to picture happening behind the black curtain, John. You snogging up your dad had a man loses. Thank you for that mental image. A rose's adult woman loses. Maybe a dead woman sweeps your senior is more your cup of sauce. And apparently you are not a homosexual. Whatever that even means, not even to speak of your racist absurd qualms with the notion of incest. Which again, still sort of wondering how that can even be a thing. Uh, <laughs> uh, <laughs> God, please. Don't start that. Is that your game, Eckbert? Have you had your eye on Madame Olani? You've been waiting for a convenient resurrection opportunity to bust all your most passionate smooch motives kept in reserve and in front of a dead female offspring, no less. Just shameful. Well, uh, she is a very pretty lady, but that seems a, like a really inappropriate thing to think about, Carcat. You don't say. What are you even talk about, talking about anymore? This is so typically Carcat. Just kind of goes off into a rant and then forgets what he wanted, like was trying to do in the beginning. Insect logic, alien bugs are weird. They are. I I, I don't know. I'm frankly pretty upset about finding him dead in the magic castle, and I guess I was wondering aloud if something could have been done, or at least maybe to talk about it without angry tirades being involved. Exactly, you are embarking down a tragedy lane and we've got to stamp put that garbage out. We can't have you getting all morose while we've got so many irons in the fire. Fuck loaded phrase, for God I said that. Just calm your shit up and forgot, forget your stupid guardian like I did with my dear crap monster custodian who I adored in no way whatsoever. You're being a douche. Wait, what am I saying? You're always being a douche. <laughs> yes, thank you. <laughs> uh, wait, your dad was a crap monster? Shut the fuck up, you were talking about something important. Rose, remember? Yes. He's waiting on Durst for your bomb to be delivered. It will arrive safely a little later. Oh, great. How do you know it gets there? Jay told me. <laughs> to do what it is you do best. Oh. Dave! Ah, Dave! 
deadly firearms. <laughs> Would buy that kind of check, I guess. Deadly. Is there a new one? Uh, no, not that I can recall right now. Oh, wait, Rose is seeing this. Ah, <gasps> uh, wait. Ha, huh. another gun re redirection, yeah. Jade from further ahead on your timeline. Before my piece of shit clown bro made everything terrible here, she and I were hammering out these plans. I talked to her across pretty much the full spread of her timeline until the scratch starts and the fake cuts out. I have a sense of the whole picture here, and it's my job not to put some things into motion. That's cool. It's nice to hear you're working together. I should pass to Jade and see what she's up to. You should sit your ass tight and do the fuck what I tell you to fuck to fucking do. Oh. Anyway, she and Dave do a lot of frog breeding, accelerating the process significantly by exploiting time travel. With help from me and Kanaya, since we were in charge of frog duties in our session. Frog duties? Wait, which, which one is Kanaya again? Don't interrupt, I'm following a train of thought. Okay, Kanaya is my other best friend, and she was... <laughs> He's best friends with everyone. Team Drift bleeding is new, yeah. And she was the hero of space like Jade, which means she's the stoker of the frogs, and is basically in charge of frogs, which, sound, which sounds stupid. I know you breed the right frog to make the universe you want to make, which is a long, arduous process, and I kind of fucked it up in my game. But that's a whole other story while I get to later. Which I'll get to later, okay? Ah, uh, wow, well, okay. She and Dave ran into Jack, which I'm sure you must have seen comic because I've never seen anyone exploit time travel so shamelessly as him, not even a radio. A radio? Just another dead troll, who cares? Mm. Stop frowning, she was already dead before she died. Mm. So she and Dave fought with him a while, and long story short, he died. What? But it's fine, I guess that was his plan, like some bizarre and useless last stand, even if he didn't tell Jade, who was pretty freaked out until I talked her through it. Did she kiss him too? Stoke of the frog. You're not supposed to kiss her, Mr. Noir. You're supposed to kill her. Mm, smooch, smooch, smooch. <laughs> Two times double carp switch combo. Oh man, Tavros. <laughs> My favorite boy, Tavros. <laughs> uh. Yeah, right there while Jack watched like a fucking creep. But it worked. Man, look at Dave. Even in death, he's so cool. Not like Tavros. <laughs> <laughs> Uh, I'll take car cat. It is like your shitty shipping bread is coming true before our very eyes. <laughs> Remember when you made that ugly thing? Who gives a fuck about shipping all my ludicrous strangled all, all topics concerning romance? I'm still talking. You woke up alive and dirty and met with Rose. That was the end of the line for Alpha Dave. To my knowledge, she doesn't time travel after that, and he and Rose stay on Durs waiting for the bomb until you start to scratch. But I can't see either of them because of the blackout lingering around Rose for whatever reason. Nobody knows what's up with that. Regardless, his job is to plot a course for the ring to find the sun. And he does either he or Rose will deliver the bomb. I don't know which. Now leave and never darken my door again. Huh. So it is Jack's job to kill Snowman and not kiss her. And because Chuck didn't do that, Doc Scratch got a little mad. <laughs> I mean, he also destroyed that thing. That's why Doc Scratch got extra mad. Oh, let me look at that thing here. Okay, it's just green stuff. We panic. One arm. <laughs> no, this is the other. Okay, other arm is here. <laughs> Um, I remember this from seeing in the background when Jade was teleporting around. This here, yeah, is when... Oh. Wait. What's going on here? <laughs> you can't see. Doc has a strict no shipping rule. <laughs> Do you remember what happens if you kill her? I actually don't. I actually don't remember that. 
but, but, but now they don't have dream selves left. Whoever goes will be risking their life for good one day. That would be the logical extension of those facts, yes. Th this is unacceptable. Couldn't I do it? I'm apparently immortal because of this got this got here business. A bomb probably would not kill me. Okay, but don't you think there's a remote possibility that going on a suicide mission to save all of reality would count as a heroic death? Uh, maybe I could try to be not all that brave while I do it? You asshole, of course you'd be brave! That tends to be what happens when you do something really fucking courageous. Uh, yeah. I just don't want to lose everybody, anybody else is all. I'm, I'm gonna check that page out once I'm done with this page. Let me just copy it already. Control Z. There we go. Got it. <clears throat> That's just how it is. I've lost friends for way more pointless reasons. A lot of options here. You'd be risking death just as much as they would. And they're better qualified to handle the mission as the Durst Dreamers. Shade's dream self is dead too, so she's out. Or to be more specific, her dream self is an overly emotional dog who went off whimpering somewhere. I'm pretty sure she will be uh, completely useless. Oh uh, yeah, she mentioned something about that. She said she prototyped her dream self. What happened with that? She doesn't like to talk about it, kind of a sore subject. Why? She thinks she's selfish and completely hysterical, and I guess hates the part of herself she represents. But I mean, the thing is, she spent a long time being dead. And moving on, it's not like you can just bring somebody back and expect them to give a shit about all the stuff you think is important. I've tried to tell her that her... Right self is probably nowhere near as despicable as she's making out for so, with herself to be. Uh, Parquet? Fre Fre Freudian? Freudian, uh, miss... Spo speaking? <laughs> what, what, what is the word? I, I, I mean, making herself out to be, you know what I mean. Mm -hmm. Look, I'm just saying, we've all got flaws, even her. And for all the shit she's given me to, on this very subject, she keeps herself dangling from a very high hook. She'd be doing me a major person slob and making at least some attempt to get herself off. Wait, wait, fuck, what did I just say? Wow. I meant let herself off. A hook, a fucking hook, it's a figure of goddamn speech. With fr Freudian slip, okay. <laughs> uh, raises eyebrows. Put the, put those the back down before my hot acid rage breath burns him off your idiotic face. Okay, I'm putting him back down as not suggestively as possible. Why are we even talking about it wasn't this whatever this is? What, what, is this, what, what, what is what this is? It's nothing you shit. And that's been the conversational equivalent of us whistling through our snort barrels while touching each other inappropriately. What, what, was that another weird erotic slip of the tongue? No, that was me being worked up into this ridiculous fucking conniption and, conniption and saying something inflammatory. God, how does it not be clear by now? Okay, well, what am I getting from this aside from the possibility that Jade may or may not be kissed dog... That Jade may or may not have kissed dog Jade at some point. Is that neither of them will be able to help with the bomb plan? That's exactly right. The pajama prodigy used his puzzle sponge today. Besides, Jade is responsible for other important parts of the plan. And one thing, you'll have to wait for her to send you the code for the quills. You can't scratch the maze without them. She got them from her denizen over later on her timeline now that she lit the forge and milked the monster up. Uh, and those the really tough to kill guys? Yeah. Did, did she kill him? Well, if I know her explanation of the entire encounter boiled down to, and I quote, shenanigans. Line for infuriatingly wake. <laughs> anyway, after she gives that to you, she then has to go through with the rest of the plan, which is making sure you also survive after the scratch. Man is one of the dirt streamers, of course. The plan revolves around some really baffling hand wavy mumbo jumbo, which I don't really understand, but she told me to trust her about it because the info comes from a reliable informant. Fighting for smug too. It involves something to do with a yellow lawn ring, which isn't a human word for it, it's just our word, so I it, 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 it's it. Which isn't a human word for it, it's just your word is so dumb I feel dumb saying it. Word for what? I guess your entire escape plan somehow pivots critically around an unwanted piece of residential property. It doesn't matter what it means. Jade says she has this figured out and I don't have time to do much but trust her. The point is she's all booked up and all too mortal so she won't be delivering the bomb and neither will you. 
Uh, okay, well, uh, about this, since she is mortal and I'm not, sorta, and I don't need to do the squat for a while, can I go help her? Maybe she could use some protection? Maybe that is what they was just trying to do when he temporarily, temporarily died. Remember, Jack is still on the loot. He's killed Rose in day once and me twice. No, 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 no. Sweet bleeding Jesus, Eckbert, you keep bragging about your immortality and then brainlessly announce plans to go off and do something heroic. You're going to have the shortest lifespan of any immortal in history. <laughs> yeah, he's gonna have that. <clears throat> so, uh, so, uh, sorry. Besides, it's a total non-issue. Uh, Jack wouldn't hesitate to stab you again, but he won't hurt Jade for some reason. If anything, it could use her protection. Uh, re really? I never noticed when looking through her timeline earlier. It wasn't until I was talking to her in those time frames and she told me. He just keeps following her around. I can see him off in the distance in some frames. Just lurking there, shadowing her movements. It's incredibly disturbing. He lingers around her until the scratch begins and I lose the feed and everyone's doing anything threatening. She says she thinks it's because Jack inherited loyalty of her losers. If she's right, I guess Alusis really did offer her the most protection before possible by prototyping itself, albeit by dooming us all the idiot. Nah, that's actually kind of cute. Sadly, he holds no such loyalty to any of us here. He regards us all as ripe for the repeated skewering. Oh fuck, maybe we should all have all just dressed like Jade? I can't believe the struggle of genius only occurred to me now. Cosplaying? <laughs> Cosplaying as Jade. I I don't believe he would be fooled. Dogs are pretty good noses. It was a motherfucking joke. This is a mess, indeed. This is very much a mess. So many pictures on the ground. Any new ones? Shipping charge. I was Carcat looking at John when he found him through the viewport. John with the computer. John talking to Carcat for the first time, right before the scratch, I guess. This was the thingy earlier. I saw this too. Okay. Clown makeup. Clown makeup? <clears throat> okay, uh, anyway, it doesn't matter anymore. If we can ride this out for a little longer until the critical moment and Dave slash Rose can destroy the sun, Chuck shouldn't be a threat. Sorry, this is unrelated, okay. Conveniently, if they're successful, that would signal the beginning of our own escape plan. Uh, what, what is your plan? Apparently, the explosion will be so huge, it will be visible a great distance throughout the furthest ring. Even from different sessions, like yours and ours. You won't get to see it because by then your session should be wiped out by the scratch. But we will. The plan is to use it as a beacon and travel there as a rendezvous point. Uh, a rendezvous with who? We've got people there, that's what Jade tells me. Jade knows so many things lately. Well, that is even her deal. Hell, if I know. This is basically dream intelligence. Every time she goes to sleep, she has more to ramble about. She says I should go to sleep to find out, but I'm like, how the fuck am I supposed to be napping between making all these plans and getting persecuted by this demented honking asshole? So yeah, we'll meet in the aftermath of the explosion with our people on the inside, or I guess I should say outside. I don't think they can come with us, though. Uh, call, come with you? Who are they? Dead people. As for where, <clears throat> it's not like we're going to stick around there forever. That would probably be depressing since we're not fucking ghosts. The Scratch will reboot our, your session. Your whole universe, actually. So somewhere in this dreadful abyss, that new session will start up in its own insipisphere from scratch. Look at that, another pun because of using the fucking word every other sentence. Kill me now. But that from scratch, fucking lol, session is what you're shooting for to survive. The idea is for you all to preserve yourself by escaping there. Uh, for, through the lawn ring? Yes, once you're there, you'll help us find our way there too. And then we can all finally figure out what the fuck to do with the rest of our lives. Uh, oh, so then this is how we're supposed to meet, then it's kind of exciting. Yeah, I guess if enough of us are alive by then to meet. So I guess you're not worried about it turning into a huge sloppy makeup fest anymore? Uh, right, <laughs> Sean, you and Riska better keep your hands to yourselves, or everyone's going to be really uncomfortable. It just be this funny business, is that clear? 
Uh, I'm convinc convincingly flipping my lid about this. Waving my arms around a lot and making all my best yelling faces. Well, look at that. It's time to change the subject again. Huh? Poof, subject changed. If it works and you wind up in the new session, that's why it'll be important to make sure one of the third streamers stays with you so they can help guide us there from the ring. Well, won't there be other players in the new session? Like alternate universe set versions of ourselves or such? Probably, but <clears throat> those chumps won't know anything about us or all our plans. Why would they? Yeah, it's kind of well, just a weird thought. So out of everything we just talked about, this is the thing that you know, has you tripping globes, whatever you say. But I guess it's sort of comforting too. If Rose or Dave have to go off and die, at least I get to see them again in a way. Even if I will only be, uh, if I will only be altern alternate universe challenge to them. Maybe my dad will be alive in that session too. Okay, maybe, but before I get too excited about that, you've got to make sure you get there first. Which means you have to do what I say and stick to the plan. We need to focus on getting ready to start to scratch. The game doesn't make a hard reset that easy to pull off. Once you initiated, the game throws everything it's got at you. Which is one reason why you're the best guy for the job, because of your superpowers and silly witty bullshit. Okay, I'll do my best. Uh, oh, I'll actually do right now. Get prepared, make all the equipment you think you'll need. Stay out of trouble. Wait for Jay to send that code. Wait for me to contact you for the first time and do your best to humor him in while he ignorantly attempts to flame you back into the bottle of slime you crawled out of. Please. Oh man, the first conversation ever. I can't wait. Yeah, but can I just say something in my defense before that happens? I don't actually hate you and I never did. I was deluding myself. Deep down, I'm sure I was always pretty okay with you. Thanks, card cat. <laughs> wait, thanks, card cat. <laughs> it wasn't a fucking compliment. <laughs> Aw, look at him. Oh no, this scrapbook is now in hopeless disarray. Oh yeah, page 12 of 68. I completely forgot again. Uh, no, not this one. I want to keep my recap. Or no, I can actually use this one. Oops. Everyone always cases gunplay when... If you kill her, you destroy the universe! Oh, okay. That was a quick check. Wait. <clears throat> wait, wait, wait. Oh. What did- what just happened there? Oh yeah, this is all- these are long conversations. This- this is my ADHD! My ADHD is so bad today! I'm sorry! I'm sorry, I keep messing up words. I keep forgetting what I just looked at. There's too much happening at once. Ah, oh, okay. The scrapbook is now in hopeless disarray. Feel free to examine the clippings while I tidy. Oh, click the panels. Oh. Oh. <laughs> so I was just suggesting the SBHJ at this page. Okay. So many sweet brown hell Jeffs today! From this point, this one times you gotta click on each page, branching paths. What? Branching paths? What the fuck? Really? What the fuck? Uh, oh, that's the comic fuck watch is just a wall at the end? Oh, that was a long one. Wow. Wow. Next one too. Oh, oh! Okay, wow! Crushing through the wall again and again and again. Green. <gasps> Last pebble. Wow, where you expecting Einstein or too fatty? Not fat. Legend. <gasps> wow. Wow. Okay. They all loop back so you can read all the ones on one page before moving to the next. Okay. So I guess that's the last thing we're. One more! <gasps> what? So much sweet brown hell Jeff today. We bought a hell of death! Ew! I want this month day end! <laughs> it's Tuesday, you fat, nasty trash. It's actually Wednesday. For the next section, I almost highly recommend following one story thread at a time to keep track of things easier. 
Oh, okay. Spoon. Whoa, it's weed. Wa for twenty, for twenty, for twenty. Wa weed jokes. Wa ha ha, funny stoner. Funny. Wa so funny. I'm laughing. I'm laughing. Ha ha ha. Okay. I don't know about recommending that. Okay, disagree with that. Check the weed. <laughs> I see it. Ha ha ha. The weed. <laughs> Okay, turn tech god, I began pestering tentacle therapist. Here's one for you. It's a waffer. Are you ready? For what? This fucking huge waffer I'm about to just say. I mean, it cannot be a mother's uh, embellishment. What? Or was your resolve finally dismantled by the siren song of all that flame broiled beef? Oh no, okay, first, do you even have Burger Kings out in the fucking woods? I do reference things that obviously aren't in the woods like terrible burgers. I'll limit my establishment of reference to lumber mills and sugar shanties from now on. Also, there's a Burger King less than 40 minutes from my house. I won't let this stand in the way of the new policy, though. There is. Oh, okay, whatever. I'm talking about a dream I just had. I mean, it was a doozy, like a psychologically speaking doozy is a slightly dumber word than popper. Certainly less delicious. It was absurdly heavy-handed. My subconscious was really stuttering it on. Like, whatever time she sludged the king himself squirts on his bargain patties. It's possible that I dreamt it ironically, I don't know. I figured you'd be interested in hearing about it. It's even... It's every bit as thick and choosy as half a pound of sizzling grade. A premium, okay? This is stupid. We've got to get burgers out of this conversation. Are you busy? Yes. We'll listen to this. <laughs> that comic went up on the 20th of June, so two months too late. Aww. <laughs> I think it makes sense to finish all panels linked from this panel before moving onwards, otherwise you might get spoilers for the others. Oh uh, yeah. Yeah. Okay, so uh, I'm just gonna... If it loops back, I'm just gonna do that and finish everything before I continue. I thought you didn't want me to analyze your dreams anymore. No, but this one's too good not to put up under the microscope. If your whole precocious psychotherapy shtick it almost laughably some it's almost laughably symbolic of all my mental problems, assuming I actually have those. It's grotesquely pregnant with meaning. All chesting at least eight gooey octuplets trashing around in an undulating belly full of mind slime. Maybe we can start by evaluating that troubling metaphor. No, look. I just want your professional ta take on how many things in my dreams symbolize dicks. We've already established that all your dreams are packed with enough homoerotic symbolism to live through the Freudian theory from the ashes of discreditation. Yeah, that's a given, but I didn't even dream about puppets this time. Uh, are you serious? I'm claiming my schedule. This is a major breakthrough. I know. It was so much more relaxing and enjoyable. It was about me dying repeatedly. <laughs> so much more relaxing and enjoyable. Wow. Ah, it's a snow monster. Go on. I was in this dark place surrounded by this big flock of crows. God, this is so generically morbid. I'm sorry in advance for exposing you to my unconscious mind's uh, dumb cliches. It's okay. They wouldn't be cliches if they didn't comprise the anonymously understood bedrock of phallic symbolism with no other viable interpretation. It's no Hulu. <laughs> well, obviously, I know the birds were just black screaming sky dongs. Just hear me out. I kept dying. I kept being these traps, like, I would go one way and get my head chopped off, or go another way and get stabbed or whatever. And every time I died in the dream reset, it died the dream reset itself, and I was standing there alive and ready to try to escape again. But each time I would be watching myself from the vantage point of a different crow. Like, I was the crow all squawking around in circles like a macabre flapping douche. And I would always watch myself try to do something different to dodge a trap, but I always ended up dead. This is an alright <laughs> Amazing. <laughs> hmm. Well, if I've learned anything from my extensive skimming over the Wikipedia articles on dream analysis, it's that this dream is very unlikely to have any literal significance whatsoever. It's probably not about dying at all. <laughs> I mean, maybe it's not about... It's about anxiety over maintaining my blocks, or... That my beats might not be ill enough. 
Yes, and the fact that you're on my couch, that would have been my next question as a licensed professional. Mr. Strider, have you considered that what you actually dread is to have your urban rhythms exposed for what they truly are, which is, clinically speaking, just shy of the bomb? And then we crack up laughing because we both know they're fresher than your mom's change of drawers and tighter than when she's wearing them. Listening to your contrary imagery of my mother in her underpants is definitely keeping us... I never know how to pronounce this word. Buoyed. Buoyed. <laughs> okay. What was that? Somebody is buoyed up. Oh. Oh. That was a fancy fella. Buoy. <laughs> okay. Buoy. Uh, uh, uh. Listening to your country imagery of my mother in her underpants is definitely keeping us buoyed high above this swirling Freudian hellhole. Hell Freudian. It is even a German word. Why am I saying Freudian? <laughs> Freudian! <laughs> I was a farmer Bob's nephew who has a potato from my car. <laughs> yeah. Please, it's not like she's my mom. I can visualize her choice as all I want without it getting much more than moderately uncomfortable for everyone involved. What if you're wrong about what? Her not being your mother. Uh. Don't worry, you're probably safe. Luckily, I can't think of no literary or historical precedent for that sort of folly whatsoever. <laughs> this isn't the first time you've insinuated we're related. What is up with that? Isn't it? No, I mean, uh, I'm not sure. I feel like you've brought it up before, which is kind of weird, but now I don't know. I think I'm mean, getting this weird deja vu thing where I was sure we talked about this. Forget it. Why don't you, why don't you tell me about your dream? Okay, so I kept dying, kept being crows and stuff and then i started to notice something coming from the sky it was this faint eerie singing and i look up and there's nothing there it's just darkness that's interesting i've read about this what did you read certain texts say singing from the unknowable void carries a message that its recipient has been selected for a mission of supreme cosmic importance that will result in your death and that of billions more but one that is essential to the perpetuation of existence itself what the fuck sort of crackpot psychology text would say something like that? It's not from from a psychology text. So then you're consulting astrology books now. Not astrology, more like zoology. Oh my fucking god, will you put that away? Okay. Keep describing the dream though. If the rest of it is, it is incompatible with prognosis of the zoologically dubious, I will withdraw my insinuation. There's not my, even much more to it. I looked up into the sky. I didn't see anyone singing. But even though the sky was black, I could see the sun. It was bright as hell, even through my shades. So I flapped my wings and flew up away to it like a fucking piece of garbage. And that's it. This doesn't strike you as an impulse of self-destruction? No. Not in the sense that it was a dark sacrificial zoolo zoology mission. It was more like somewhere to go besides watching myself die a lot from the vantage of a feathery murder of dumb shitty birds. Like a piece of garbage. <laughs> so if hypothetically you were to accept such a, such a miss, such a mission, or even insist upon one, it wouldn't be in the spirit of genuine sacrifice, but of escape? What the fuck are you talking about? Okay, something's wrong. This whole conversation is falling apart. This isn't even how it originally went at all. Ah, uh, we were making good progress, too. Why did you have to go and remember? This happened months ago. Does this mean I'm dead? What do you think? Stop it. This is so sick of you. Using the dream bubble bullshit to pick apart my psyche. Am I dead or asleep? If you're starting to remember, you should be able to tell me. But damn it. Maybe I'm just as confused as you about it. Yeah, right. Am I dead or asleep, Dave? I don't know. Try to remember. Oh yeah, make sure you take some of the clippings. Uh, 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 what else? This is what we... No. I guess this is what we just did, but I thought I clicked on this. Um... This one. <gasps> Jasper Spine! <clears throat> 
Oh god, can I even do Nipita's voice now? Jaspers, I guess I should say for roll to you now. Line Nipita. Because this is the end of your timeline, and I don't know what happens to you after this. I mean, happens to you after this. <laughs> that one was kind of obtuse, sorry. Oh, what's a timeline? Hmm, that's a hard question. Okay, imagine a long, tempting strand of yarn. Uh, yes, oh yes, so great. Now imagine instead of being made of wiggly, enticing stuff, it's made of what lets you exist. And you're right at the twitching tip of it, don't you see? Look at the sky! Yeah, yeah, yes, I see the sky and can tell that indeed something is going on. But aside from that, I don't really understand what you said, being a cat and all. A cat pun better replace it, it's just cat pun. <laughs> uh, wait, where, where was I? Being a cat and all. That's fine, you don't have to try too hard. All you have to do now uh, to know is... Oh my god. All you have to know is it's the scratch, and I'm not 100% sure what happens next for you. I still think it's nice how you slip cat things and the things you say. You're so clever and wonderful, Nipita. <laughs> What's the scratch? Well, you know Ross's friend John? Yes, of course. Imagine that he's using this great big circle like a really fun scratching post, and it makes all his light come out, and that changes everything. Just after he starts doing that, the sky goes funny everywhere, and then I can't see you anymore. Yes. That's what it is. I think I understand that completely. I'm a bit nervous for you, especially since you remind me so much of someone I already lost. But maybe you'll be okay, I don't know. I'm not very Nepeda, so you shouldn't either. It's not as if I have never died before. <laughs> You're a brave kitty, just like Pounce was. Pounce was a cat like me? Yes, she was amazing. I bet you and she would have gotten along famously, uh, famously, f f famously. <laughs> I think the cat wing spread should be the, would be the spread for just kind of Okay, yeah, fair. <laughs> You're completely right there. Okay, Pounce was a cat like me. Uh, yes, she was amazing. I bet you and she would have gotten along famously. Uh, I, I bet you're right, purr purr. Uh, oh, was she nice to sniff? Yes, she smelled really good, and also she was super beautiful. Wow. <laughs> Did you ever have someone nice back on Earth you love? Rose! I love Rose! <laughs> of course you did. I mean, a nice cat was your mate spread. Um, there was a time I remember I was thinking about girl cats a lot for some reason. I would saunter around the house making all these big meows and looking out the windows with my nose touching the glass. But then Rose's mom took me to this place where I was scared to be for a while. And then I was at home again. I didn't do the meows anymore. I guess I didn't think about the girl cats after that, which is just mm, as well because none ever came to the windows. Really not even when I did my biggest meows. Mm. But muted, huh? <laughs> ah, that, that's too bad. But I bet lots of girl cats would have loved to be with you. If only there had, there had been some around to, near you, to hear your lovely meows. Uh, you're, you're really nice to say, Sunapeira. What, what about you, though? Me? Yes. Well, I, I've never told anybody this not even in my Moirail. Uh, actually, he's the last guy I might tell. He's so wooden to purr. But yes, I have liked something for quite some time, but alas, he doesn't know it. What? What don't you, uh, what don't you tell him? Hmm. Maybe you can win his affection by rubbing your cheek against him. That's what I would do. Oh, uh, uh, no, 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 no. I'm too shy even for that. And... He's so adorably grumpy all the time. It probably wouldn't go over well. It's hard to explain. Maybe cats think differently, but trolls tend to be pretty cautious about expressing their feelings when it comes to the flushed quadrant. Uh, what, what's a quadrant? It is, um, okay, it has romantic applications, but it is also something more general than that. A quadrant is... How do I say this? Kippy Smile. <laughs> A quadrant is a thing in a group of things that consists of four similar things. Like 
pass? <laughs> exactly like pass. I, I see, that's really easy to get. I think you should tell him that you like him. You might not get the chance if you don't. For instance, I think instead of meowing at windows, I should have just scurried out the door before it could close. Then I might have found a girl who had to sniff for well. I know, but it's just not that simple. I could make someone else jealous, I think, and what if he doesn't feel the same way and... Oh, it's so complicated. Maybe I just need to let go of the silly infatuation. I think it's never going to happen, honestly. You shouldn't lose hope. I have another story that might give you hope, even though it should be noted again that I'm only a cat. Oh? Yes, one time I was with Rose, and I was sitting there dressed up in my suit with her as happy as can be. But then she disappeared. The whole place disappeared, and I was in another place. There was no Rose, there was someone else. I guess I loved her too in time, but never as much as Rose, it just wasn't the same. I kept waiting to see Rose again, but never did, and finally I lost hope and that I would, and then I died. But then I became alive again, and I got to see her, and I was so happy. Purr, 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 purr. And that's my story, and that's why I think there's always hope, even if you die. So you're saying that maybe I will have to die to get to be with him? Yeah, maybe. I hope that's not the case, but I guess you just have a different way of looking at things. <laughs> Thank you for the advice, Jaspers. <laughs> Aww. <laughs> Cat advice, I love it. <laughs> okay. So we did that one. It's this one, and now we do this one. Oh. <laughs> uh huh. Wait. Big sprite? Day? Wow. Hey. <gasps> ah. I'm gonna do this one last. Oh, yeah, it's them. Anki, Anki, Anki. Pick. Furious! Flip Tyler's Anki. Has the wallet. Secret ambush. Chase, chase, chase. Oblivious. Oh. And now this one. Arachnid script begin trolling goes to trickster. Hi, John Human. Ah! Oh yeah, he was still some... Uh, had a different handle then. Excuse me, alien time troll, but I'm trying to grab a press and really you all have the worst timing. Yes, I can see that. Two ugly garments and seats for some kind of strange earth vegetable. Could you lay in present, John? Nope, not going to ask how you know my name or what I'm sending, don't care. One of these ugly garments is for me. Also, it's not ugly, it's awesome. Not as awesome as something you will be wearing later, thanks to me. Uh-oh, my mouse is hovering dangerously close to the block button. It always does it when I talk to trolls. It is the dang the thing. Calm down. I just thought I would foreshadow my existence to you at this quaint moment on your timeline. It is very too tempting not to let you know I have taken great care to become a very important feature of your life. Or for that matter, to let you know what I will be giving, that I will be giving your present so much better than the useless crap you're shoving in that box. I will be giving you the gift of immortality. Oh, sweet. That has been on my wish list. Ranking just below a mint condition little monsters poster starring Hollywood superstar Howie Mandel. Can I expect it to arrive on my next birthday? Uh, yes, as a matter of fact, nice guess. It will come at a cost, though. The Mandel poster, Immortality. The latter check ass. In order for you to claim it, you will have to be quite gullible and allow me to arrange your murder. I see. Here is where all the sick trolling begins. You can keep your present, I'm not interested. But you will be. You will happily go along with everything I tell you to do. And then once I have completed, completely earned your trust, I will kill you, John. Ugh. The other two I just talked was way better if a tad grumpy or at least she was down with talking about cool movies, Sarda. But this is all true. I've seen it already. You have no idea how delicious the dramatic irony is right now. 
You will die. I will lead you into a trap and watch you bleach to death on a big stone slab with a sword stuck in your chest. There's nothing you can do about it. In fact, it has already happened. That's nice. Now scram, troll. I'll leave you alone soon enough. I was just feeling pretty pleased with myself about all the brilliant plans I made for you and your friends. Stopping by in your past to mess with your head is really just a courtesy because I like to think you're pretty good friends by the time I get around to killing you. Okay, you got me. My feathers are all ruffled and I can no longer tell my ass apart from a big orange or vegetable. Now can you leave me alone? I guess so, but my ineffective grizzly murder of you notwithstanding, you're a pretty fun guy to hassle. It'll be difficult sparing you from the privilege of my company until your game begins. That is basically the worst pickup line I've ever heard. Please, John, as if there's any conceivable sequence of events which would lead me to consider you as a viable romantic partner in any quadrant, even a pale ones. Blah, blah, blah. More plausible alien sounding things. Weren't you leaving? Yes, okay then. I mean, I was going to, but now I guess I'm not. Oh, why? Because this isn't really happening. It isn't. It did once, but now it's just a memory. I guess I must be dead. Okay. Is this conversation over now? Can I keep packing my present? The conversation as it went before is already over. I said goodbye and you blocked me, don't you remember? Well, I was going to block you, but then... I didn't for some reason. Exactly, because we've already been through this. You're either asleep or dead like me. Man, I can't believe I let you trick me like that. Such an amateur mistake. I guess I'm feeling something like deja vu, maybe? I still don't think I believe you, though. Hey, do you have any recollection of all the last message I... Of the last message I sent you before I died? I don't even know who you are. Yeah, I figured. Just as well. I made some pretty embarrassing confessions to you. I guess I'm getting what I asked for in a way, even though it's not what I pictured. What did you ask for? I asked you if you wanted to, you know, hang out. Was this after you killed me and gave me immortality? Yes, so... What do you say? Or what do you think you might have said? About what? You mean, hanging out? Yeah. Oh god, this is so ridiculous. It's just a crazy troll on the internet and I need to get back to packing up this present for my friend. You're not going to hang out, I'm sorry. John, there is no present. You are not near a hive and you don't have anything to send. You received it a long time ago. None of this matters anymore. If you don't believe me, you're free to look out of your window. What will that accomplish? It might help you remember, and you will be able to see me if you want. Hmm. The tree! Ghost bad. Everything's sort of glowing. Huh. Okay! Look up here. I've been streaming for three hours. I kind of want to go a little further. Is there a stopping point coming up? Because I don't have anything else to do today. Except reading. And I started sort of late-ish. <laughs> but yeah, is there a stopping point coming up or is this a good stopping point? I'm just so curious how it will continue. <laughs> I'm always curious. But yeah, also barely any drop frames today. More of these multiple choice panels for a while, okay. Um, try to make sense of this mess yourself. Okay, I guess I'm gonna read this and after this I'm gonna stop. Let's, and this, since this was the last conversation I'm gonna, uh, this is a good to stop on. I'm gonna read these conversations and then I'm gonna be done for today. Unless these are super long. If they are on the same length as the last ones were. Because right now I'm still in about the same. Yeah, okay, then I'm gonna do them and then it's gonna be, um... The end of the stream for today. Okay. 
So it seems that you are in fact an alien with horns and everything. Huh. I'm not gonna do that now. Yes, John, horns and all. That totally proves I'm an alien beyond a shadow of a doubt. Now, what do you make of these blank white eyes of mine? What do you think that could mean, hmm? I don't know. Aliens usually have big spooky eyes, don't they? Humans have literally the dumbest extraterrestrial lore. Aren't there supposed to be aliens on one of those po posters? One of your posters? <laughs> yeah, you be mad at me. Yeah, even I can admit that movie was indefensible. Actually, a bit longer. It's fine. I'm gonna do that. I'm not gonna stream again till Monday, so it's fine. Well, if you want, if you want to know, normally we have bright orange eyes with gray irises. They fill in with our blood pigment as we get older. Also, normally I have this one goofy eye with seven pupils because I'm kind of a weirdo. But I guess that's gone now that I'm dead. Now that you believe me, I guess you just refuse to remember anything. Now that you believe me, because you just okay. I can accept that you're an alien, but come on, meeting an alien who's also a ghost in my front yard is a bit much to believe. It's almost too awesome. So you don't remember anything about the game at all then? The destruction of your planet, bringing your ancestors back to life as a clown woman? Putting a huge flaming ocean with your magical wind, tech noir, dying, resurrecting, and possibly dying again? Is any of this tickling your sponge? Mm, nope, sounds cool though. Fuck, I cannot believe how cold it is on this planet. How can any species could possibly be able to survive somewhere like this? Yeah, I thought you looked pretty cold out here, so I brought you this jacket. Oh. Okay. I got closed switch suddenly. Was that some kind of alien water warpifying technology? So it's just a warp, warp drope, if you will? Sure, John. Let's just say that's what it was. Look pretty cool, uh, more normal clothes. Not that your space boots and pixie outfits weren't neat. Thanks. So, is this how humans begin an Earth date? The simple acts of flattery and kindness? Um, I don't know about that, really. It just seemed like the nice thing to do is just as a date. No, I've decided this definitely will not be a date. Not until you remember something, at least. Okay, that's probably for the best. I probably would be pretty nervous on a date with a normal girl, let alone on a date with an alien space ghost. <laughs> now that you mention it, me too, probably. Your goofy awkwardness is a bit contagious, frankly. So now what do we do? Well, since I'm presuming you're new to the planet, I could show you around the place. This is my great alien psycho spoke ride in all its glory. In my childhood, it was hours of fun and hundreds of painful injuries. Hey, this thing isn't slimy at all. What the hell? Nope. I've noticed humans don't seem to keep any slime around the hive, and yet they're strangely cavalier about your open display of certain receptacles. What's the deal with that? Is it that you're just that ashamed of your secretions as a species? Um, not really. Humans just don't really have much use for slime, I guess. Honestly, I can't think of any single practical use for slime other than to be gross. So bizarre. Anyway, this thing is kind of a death trap and I haven't written it for years. I think my dad had it installed as one of his ridiculous ways of making a man out of me. Sure, my custodian had her ways of making me tougher too. Yeah, her ends right. <laughs> uh, anyway, that's my backyard. Pretty damn boring. Sorry, I would show you inside, but I don't think my dad would take too kindly to bring an alien inside. Or just yet, I would need to brace him for it. That's fine. What else can you show me? I could show you around my neighborhood if you want. Sounds great. Ah, look at them. Just two kids hanging out. These are my neighbors who live in a lot of same looking houses as mine. I never see them. I think they're all really busy people with a lot of serious business to attend to. And look, the snow's melted over here. It's a really warm. It's really warm suddenly. Weird. Does your planet usually have these kind of temperature swings? No, this is pretty unusual December weather. Guess I'll take my coat off. I can take yours back if you want. No thanks, I think I'll keep it on. The suburbs, yeah. The spurbs, so to say. Oh. There's not really much to see in this town, but there are these lakes. This lake did not used to be a lake a long time ago before I was born. There was a factory here. My dad says there was a huge explosion. He was walking by with my nana when he saw it. A little later, my nana died. My dad never told me how, except that it involved a big joke book. 
I never knew her, which is too bad. She sounded nice. I know what happened. I saw it. You did? Yes. Do you want to know? It might chasten your memory. Okay. I believe this leg is where Jade landed. You landed a little ways over there, about where your height is now. You clobbered your nana to death with the aforementioned choke book, uh, but it wasn't your fault. You are both just little wigglers, riding meteors from the future. You created yourself, your nana, Jade, the grandpa, not to mention Dave and Rose and the guardians, all in the lab using paradox slime. And send them back in time as the silly grubs with arms and legs you call babies. And here we're doubting the usefulness of slime. <laughs> babies. <laughs> uh, wow, really? Yes, absolutely. I paid close attention to all this because I thought it would, might give me some clues about us and our ancestors. So we're made the same way. Any of this familiar? Mm, that all sounds incredible if true, but I don't have even the foggiest memory of that happening. Yeah, I figured as much. And the baby was him. Mm -hmm. Since you seem to seem bent on staying in a dream bubble coma, why don't they continue the tour? The tour of Earth? Sort of. Uh, what's happening? We are going on an adventure. Where? Through your memories. Through mine too. This would be a really fun thing to do on a date, I think. If we actually were on a date, which we're not. Uh, how is this happening? Is this through the advanced alien, through the advanced alien technologies? It's like holograms or teleportations? If that's what you want to think to keep you comfy in your stupor, sure. Where, where are we? This is my home planet before it was destroyed. It's called Eternia. Uh, oh, cool. Uh, what's that over there? That is my hive, which is a thing that you refer to as a house. It's where I grew up. It's a castle! No shit. It is big and foreboding and ostentatious just the way I wanted it. As a blue blood, I was entitled to build such a home. Something to set me far apart from the commoners. You built it? Of course not. Robots built it for me when I was very young, but I was allowed to dictate instructions. Expected to, in fact. Oh gosh, so rad. Really? I still find it interesting what sort of mundane facts human tend to humans tend to be impressed by anyway my design kind of got boring as i got older a huge castle hive sounds great but it starts feeling pretty cavernous and lonely after a while there were so many blocks i never even used your tastes change but you get stuck with growing up in a place suited to your earliest most juvenile inclinations nobody tells you that when you're a kid though i think i know what you mean i feel like a long time ago i might have given my dad the impression i really like clowns and now there are clowns everywhere, his stupid collection just keeps growing and growing and it drives me crazy. John, that barely com is the that barely comparable example is so cute. I don't even know what to say. Eh. This is my this was my custodian. <gasps> she was hurt in an accident. I killed her myself to put her out of her misery. Huh. Holy shit, look at all the glittering space riches. Yeah, I was really into treasure hunting for a while. What's with the broken eight balls? Never mind those. This was my respite block, from kind of an embarrassing memory, actually. Uh, more like eight balls. You sure do like to smash them. John, addiction is a powerful thing. You probably wouldn't understand. What are you wearing? Just a fairy dress. I wore it for the stupid thing I did once. Is that a rocket car stuck in the web over there? What's that about? Don't worry about it. Man, this would be such an awkward moment on a date. Again, if it was one. There's something really familiar about that rocket. Let's keep going. Risk I missed the prime opportunity to say a baby landed and the baby was you. Yeah! <laughs> that is very correct. Ah! <laughs> no! <laughs> <laughs> no, this was the wrong, was the wrong direction. <laughs> Tavros, he just lags with blood soup. He's a blood soup bowl. <laughs> just some legs, blood soup bowl. <sighs> oh, what's happening? Are, are we back on Earth? You tell me. It's Bahasa again. Why are we here? I was having fun seeing your planet. 
I don't know, John, they're your memories. I like how the desk became the wall. Oh, yeah. Sorta. Yeah, but the outlines, that's true. This is my dad's room, but uh, I have never been inside of it. So why did I recognize it? Truck? I think there were some birthday presents for me in there. But I can't recall which birthday it was. It was here 13. But I'm 12. Oh, uh, yeah, uh, I remember this. Man. <laughs> 20 streams ago, huh? <laughs> I wear these zims all over my house, acting all rambunctious, but why? It's also hazy. Where's my dad? <gasps> also, yeah. So close to the 4K. Sounds like some things are coming back to you. Any chance you remember me yet? No, sorry. <laughs> Little dapper pursuit. Oh. Ooh, that's cool. Their lands just kind of like meshing together. Come on, <gasps> Dad! Hey, look, that's my dad. What is he doing here? I I, I missed the hack out of him. So I I'm not sure why. He should be staying at home right now. I guess it must have lost track of it, but I don't even remember how. I know I have this feeling like I, I should run over and give him a hug. Well, just so you know, he's probably not actually there. Kind of like how my Lucis was just a memory. Are you a psychic alien? Like the one who Jodie Foster met in contact and assumed the form of her dead father to talk to her? As a matter of fact, yes, I'm a psychic alien, but that has nothing to do with this. These are our memories and we are in the afterlife. I keep trying to tell you and it's starting to get a little frustrating. I see, so it's not me who is Jodie Foster, it's more like you are a Jodie because nobody believed her when she came home and had amazing tales to tell, except Matthew McConaughey. Ah! I, it's okay, I will be her Matt McConaughey. Does that mean you'll believe me now? I guess I always did, Sarda. I think I've always been in denial about what's happening here. It's nice that you believe me, but that doesn't mean you remember yet. So this is my dad, but where is he? He died too. You saw his body. Don't you at least remember dad? No, not at all. I'm remembering a bunch of things, but not dad. Then what? Do you remember me yet? No. I only remember when you contacted me and said you'd kill me a little earlier. But that was months ago. I do remember talking to some other trolls like you. I'm playing this game. It was on my 13th birthday. I was really looking forward to playing it, but it was like late in the mail. I got some presents from my dad. Like this big weird clown doll that I didn't like much and some fruit gushers. Oh yeah, I also realized gushers were made by Betty Crocker and that freaked me the fuck out. Did you realize Betty Crocker makes gushers? This comes as news to me. Well, she does. Her villainy knows no bounds. Oh. He also gave me the suit, which I remember wearing for a while, but it didn't look quite like this. It had a black tie and no ghosts, so I improved it. Actually, I remember dying in the suit. You do? But this was not the suit I was wearing when I died. This was. Oh, okay. We're done with this part of the conversation. I want to go... This one. Are you okay? I'm better. What happened to you? What happened to you? Um, I died in my dream and came back as a dog. Oh, I turned into a bird and got into a fight. <gasps> Wait, that last panel is a Homestuck trivia test. Wait, which panel? What is that? What this thing? What this thing? Yes. Legendary sword. How did you get it? That shone in the suit. Oh. Okay. It's a Homestuck trivia test. Wait. No, he didn't die in that. He died wearing the Riska stuff. Just 
shenanigans mostly. Yes, I figured shenanigans were probably involved. Can you be more specific? Well, basically I'm from another timeline. Right, so who is this? Wait, I'll think about that after we're done here, okay? <laughs> Let's come back to that later. <laughs> From another timeline. Well, basically, I'm from another timeline. We couldn't win the game there, so I came back to help Dave. Dave? Dave from this timeline. As a sprite, I'm supposed to help him with his quest. Oh, yeah, I'm supposed to help Jay too, but. <sighs> He's doing alright, don't worry about it. Okay, I'll try. You, you were saying? So things kind of became even more crazy in this timeline than the one I was from, and it was clear Dave was never going to do the quest I didn't get the chance to finish. But even after you brought the forge. The forge? The volcano. Oh! So after laying low for a while, I just went and did whatever I could myself, but... I could myself, but... Cal get for <laughs> the fucking Welsh sword Dave broke. I went to look for Festus again, figuring there wasn't much hope in beating him this time either. Especially being injured and all, but what the hell, right? But then, that's when you lit the forge somehow. I did? Well, no, not you, other Jade. Yeah, she's a lot more brave than me, I think. She brought me back thinking I could help her, and all I did was disappoint her and everyone else. You came back as a sprite, and you're managing to do important things, but I just feel so scared and helpless. Sounds like you came back because Jade made a decision for you. I made a decision to come back myself. Maybe it would be different if you had the same chance. I don't know if I would have had a chance, but I would like to not feel so useless to everybody. I think everyone's on top of this. There's not much for us to do anymore. What about your sword? Isn't it important? I guess so. But not really for me, since I'm not the real Dave anymore. I'm still not sure how you got it. What does it have to do with my volcano? That's a bit complicated. See, it turns out I had no idea how the denizens worked at all. Dave Roth. <laughs> oh yeah, he's a one-winged angel, that's true. <laughs> okay, uh, let's do this one. <gasps> Pet. <gasps> Nana! Aww. Aww. She got the thing! Out of the sludge, huh? The oil or whatever. And that's the thing. The PTA. Oh, That makes me sad. <laughs> I'm actually sad. Oh, but yeah, that stuff kind of got to me. <laughs> what are they doing? What are they up to, huh? Da -da 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 Again. Remove. <gasps> the bomb! Oh yeah. Back. The Tyler. Whoa, 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 whoa. Wallet! Wallet! Where is? Where is? Escape. Huddle success! <laughs> oh. Oh, uh, we're still doing the mission, huh? Mm. Good job, Lip Tyler. Good job. And now this one. Oh, here she is. I remember waking up here after getting shot. Yes. What else? Then the cage bunny came and gave us the bomb. Where did where did he go anyway? She's around. Bunny to she. Her name's Liv Tyler. Dumb. Take it up up with John. What else? We were talking about who should go. Do you remember what we decided? No. Wait. Wasn't I going to go? Is that what happened? Did I go and now I'm dead? Not quite. What's not quite? I didn't go or that I'm not dead. Do you remember anything else? No. What about why you went to fight Jack? Sure, I did that because I wanted to and because I was supposed to. Are you sure? Yeah, I saw my future self fighting him, so obviously that had to happen or else I'd be dead anyway. But I didn't get the satisfaction of standing up to him, so... So was your decision or sort of desire or obligation? Hard to explain. All the time shit going on, I don't try to understand your light shit, do I? I don't know much about the light shit, to be honest. I may have missed my chance to figure it out. Haven't we had this conversation already? Mostly. I'm doing what I can to chalk your memory. It's chalking, I guess. It's man boobs off. 
are jiggling a little. Nice. So, what about Shade? What? He didn't tell her your expedition with her would result in your death, let alone she'd inadvertently cause, or that she'd be stuck with the job of res resuscitating you. Did you? What am I really supposed to say? I have a gonna hunt frogs, so you shoot me through the jack, then I die, and you've got to make out with me. With that kind of changes, how the whole thing goes, doesn't it? Not if you're supposed to, right? What does that even mean? I guess you're right. No reason to make an effort to empathize if doing so comes at the price of oblivion. The fuck? It must be comforting to have your ASPD ta tac tacitly supported by predestination. ASPD. Antisocial personality disorder. Oh no. This conversation just got bum rushed by a mudside of fucking awful. It wasn't already awful. Believing you might be dead? You don't know anything. About what I was feeling or what happened on low path. You were all pavement faced and babbling your flow fast to speak. And flipping off the shit with your own crazy death wish thing. Why do you think you know what was going through my head? You're just assuming and throwing around psyche boss words like ASPD complex disorder. So it's a disorder, a complex, and then a disorder again for good measure? In your case, probably. Sounds like a positively delirious state of existence. It's some delirious this nasty, right? Oh, snap? Yes, I'm authorized. God damn, you may swipe it at the door to check yourself into the burn ward. Mike can loosen the purse strings on and- Oh no, he didn't? But now, those are Captain Emergency Reserve for your mama jokes from the 90s. Anyway, I'm telling you, if I said anything at all about it, she probably doesn't even fire a gun once and all I'm doing is dragging her into a doom timeline with me. I guess I'm learning to be impressed by your sense of obligation to inev inevitable misfortune. It's a strange case of inspiration through the futility. None of this is that big a deal. I just mentioned the basics to her, that it's, I'd stop time traveling soon, break out of the loops, not have to wander all the time if I was taking a wrong turn and dooming everybody. I was never that cool with this. But what exactly? You know how you turned out to be? This incredibly shitty seer of light and basically failed at that in every way imaginable. Hey! Well, maybe I never wanted to be a knight of time. Maybe I'd rather just be like the Dave of Guy, you know, just some dude. These really do not sound like the words of someone ready to face his own death. The kind you don't wake up from, I mean. I guess not. Guess I failed my question, so I'm like, no, what bitches to nobody in particular, I guess. The unseen bitches callously conspiring to expect greatness from you? Yes, those exact bitches. If that's how you feel, then why did you insist on going on the mission to deliver the tumor? Black and white and for China yin yang bomb. <laughs> oh. oh yeah, I remember that now. Then I guess that's what happened. I delivered the bomb and now I must be dead. Are you sure? Is so wrong? <laughs> New sound effect unlocked. Yeah, it got us! I love it, it's good! I love them. I love lizards. Maybe you should try to answer the question. Why did you want to go? Because I made the map, so I know how to get there better. But it seems simple enough. A set of bearings to follow. See? The application pilots the moon. Change course when necessary. Anyone can do it, really. We talked about this. Debated, if you recall. Okay, if you remember it all so clearly, why are you grilling me on this shit? Why you just tell me what's going on? I'm just seeing if you can remember, and if you're sticking to your story about why you should be the one to go. Well, I am, um, because I should, or should have, man, what the fuck is going on? Am I dead or are you dead or what? You're almost there, really. Just try to rem remember a little more. What happened after we decided you would go? Uh, oh yeah, we were trying to figure out a way to detach the moon so I could pilot it out there. Fly it into the sun. I was a troll tying caps like this would be my first because I do it accidentally all the time. <laughs> if I was a troll, I would always accidentally uh, type cookies. Uh, C O O C K I E S because that's uh, what I always do. I always type cookies that way first, and then I then I correct it. I don't know why. 
I don't know why I, I have tried to stop doing that for a long time. I keep doing it. Yeah, we saw one of Rose in the weird cult too. I, I I remember that. I was like, wait, what is the blue one? <laughs> yeah, exactly like that. Scribbler says. <laughs> I do that with me too. <laughs> Fair. Uh, which I have. Wait, where was I? Yeah, what happened after we decided you would go? Uh, oh yeah, we were trying to figure out a way to detach the moon so I could pilot it out there. Fly it into the sun. Okay, now I registered it. Hand instincts. <laughs> Hand just be like, Gada type cock. <laughs> yeah, basically. But the chain was huge. Couldn't think of how to break it. Then out of nowhere, this sword appears in the thing. So I'm thinking, obviously, I have to break the sword somehow. Because that's all I fucking do is break swords. Troll type and quirk. Always typing CK whenever there's a K in a word. Yeah, I guess that's my troll zone as quirk then. But as I'm thinking of how to do it, I put my hand on it and it just snaps off with this conical shattering noise. Like I just fucked up some priceless shit in the Louvre. Or the Louvre! I can't do French, I can't do it. <laughs> See, like that, like I did again, just there with my hand. Plus of dream bubbles. Remember when that happened? Mm hmm. <gasps> like Jack did it. Then I took it and sliced the chain like this. Damn. Still cuts like it's plowing through a shaft of boneless zombie meat. Careful, I just managed to quell my appetite after all that burger talk. Oops. Yeah. So then the moon started drifting away and I was going to fly up and take it to the sun and I said something to you. Oh, I was going to like say bye or something, but you were just standing there not saying anything, holding that ball of yarn. And then, oh, God, that's right. Come on, knocking me out so you can see the suicide mission. God damn it. That's so tried. I really am sorry for that. It's like, here's how bad this is. We're, 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 we're basically Bruce Willis and Ben Affleck from John's shitty crappy movie. He made this even more Armageddon than it already was. Seating me in the airlock so I can go home to Liv Tyler and have the most terrible babies with her. If it's any consolation, Liv Tyler came with me on the suicide mission. The bunny or the actress. Which would make you feel better? You're not knocking me out of a ball of fucking yarn is fucking what? If I could have chosen a method of sparing your life, you might have found more awesome, I would. Is there an ironic way to do that? Spartan, yeah, you're very late. <laughs> I'm probably gonna end the stream soon, but the VOD's gonna be there in case you wanna watch it. Uh, 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 uh. Is, there, is there an ironic way to do that? This probably comes close, but that doesn't make it not lame as hell. Does it matter if I took some personal satisfaction seeing you fall unconscious at the gentle glance of a soft cotton globe? It's cool, you're so tickled by this. I hope it brought you a lot of rat laughs on your way to go fucking explode. So, that's it. I'm actually lying here in dirt to sleep, and you went out there and blew up the sun, and now you're dead, and I'm dream chilling with your smug ghost. Yes, to the first part. So, you're not dead. Not yet. Then you're dreaming. What, you're taking a little nap on the moon in the middle of nowhere? Afraid not. I'm wide awake. <laughs> Man, is there another one of those? <laughs> probably. You think that's probably a good thing I missed it because my eyes were super dilated early to an eye exam. Oh yeah, I mean, just if you're curious about my reactions and stuff, the VOD is there, and I'm also gonna upload it to YouTube, um, in a couple of days. So if if you really wanna check out my reactions, it's gonna be available. Probably would have heard to look at the stream. Yeah, I hope your eye exam went well. It's completely fine. You can be there next time. <laughs> back to the chum part. Yeah, back to the chum part. Because this is where I'm gonna stop. Five pages away from 3,900, which is 100 pages away from 4,000, which is almost halfway there. Okay. 
Back to the tom part. I don't know if her special look yet. I'm stuck. Yeah. Oh, so much shit going on today. So much shit going on. I got a little overwhelmed actually from all the, the stuff. Like there was stuff happening in the, up there. And oh, there is still stuff happening up there, I guess. Try to make sense of this yourself. Okay. Then, uh, there was stuff happening with like between Doc Scratch and Chak or Slick. And then there was stuff happening with the conversations like three or four things at the same time and it i will i got completely overwhelmed today <laughs> i actually got a little bit upset and angry about it i was just like oh my god you got it so much going on ah my little brain can't deal with that i get distracted too easily blah, 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 blah. anyway um five pages per page yeah basically and everything is like a different kind of uh plot and everything's happening at the same time Hey, Danny, my baby. Hi. He woke up. There's a made up for the page output at the time being a bit slower than usual. Yeah, I mean, it's, it's, that's fair. Anyway, to the jump part. Yeah, when he died, when he got killed by Jack on the, um, quest bed, he was wearing the Riska outfit with the green jacket and the blue pants. Gun free monster stream. Oh, yeah. Wait. Oh, wow. Yeah, I mean, sometimes you just gotta slow down a bit. Sometimes stuff is going on. And I assume that Halsey updated, like, very frequently before, like, the, the two years. Until then, it's completely fair. Um, he did not die wearing the kind of, you know, bluish. When else has Chon died? He died when, um, oh yeah, when Terezi, um, did the thing, uh, when Terezi told him to skip the, the, to the seventh gate. That was when he died. So is this like a doomed timeline, John, then? This could be doomed timeline, John. I'm distracted though. I'm petting my cat, sorry. Yeah, that that that's probably gonna be it. Doomed timeline John. Because he he died when he was flying with the little jetpack thingy up to the seventh gate because Terezi told him that uh he could just beat the denizens and stuff. <laughs> and that was not the case. He very much died there. Oh barely any dropped frames today. I'm very happy about that. That looks good. I don't remember when Elsie died. And did say that rocket car looked familiar. Oh yeah, because of the chat pack. That makes sense. But yeah, my uh I'm gonna lock in the fact that this is probably doomed timeline John. This is most likely also why he does not remember um, I forgot her name already. She's dead. She is not relevant to me anymore. Riska. Because, um, as far as I recall, Doomed Timeline, Chan, who died, when he skipped to the seventh gate, never talked to Riska. Yeah. They all have to sleep flame decal, yeah? Her name was Fresca, yeah? <laughs> her name was Fresca. Yes, yes, yes. Oh, yes, good. She's gone. She's dead. That was the most beautiful part of the stream today. I'm very, I mean, as overwhelmed as I was about a lot of parts of this uh, stream, uh, I am very happy about having made, uh, like done another stream this week because this was a lot more satisfying with, with things happening. Like last time, not a, lo a lot has happened, and this time everything happened at once. <laughs> <laughs> fresca secret citrus is bad it's like a real flavor of fresca oh fresca is a real thing <laughs> i do not even know that wait let me look it up fresca oh it's a soft drink by the coca-cola company 
introduced in 1966. Yeah, we do not have that here. We do have Coca-Cola, but we do not have Fresca. <laughs> Never heard of that before. www.fresca.com. Amazing. Uh, borrowing the word Fresca, meaning fresh from Italian, Spanish and Portuguese, it was first introduced in the United States in 60, 1966. Originally, a bottled sugar-free diet soda, sugar-sweetened versions were introduced in some markets. Interesting. Stream sponsored by Fresca. That would be amazing. Speaking of sponsoring, I would have had the chance, or I still do have the chance, to be sponsored by um, Ray Channel Legends. <laughs> it's a, it would be a sponsoring for one of the stream thingies that I could, that I'm uh, a part of, and I'm just like, hmm. It would be some money for streaming, but do I want to A, sell my soul to Raid Shadow Legends and B, do I have want to have to play two hours of Ra uh, Raid Shadow Legends in a stream that has to be four hours long? So <laughs> I'm just, I'm debating because earning money for a stream would be interesting, but at the same time, I'm just like, do I really want to do that to myself? <laughs> so yeah, maybe Raid Shadow Legends stream soon, maybe, don't know. We will see. But yeah, today a lot has happened. A lot has happened in the stream. And I will have to think about some of that stuff. Um, yeah, I, I guess this, this thing here is going to continue for a little longer. Like the um, parallel storylines that we get to witness through the photographs. Like, a couple more, maybe? Question mark. I mean, I don't mind it. I think this is a very cool way of storytelling. I like that it, like, loops back to this point. There's a few more branching pages. Okay. Yeah, I don't mind that. I'm actually looking forward to, like, reading more of that. But I'm, I'm definitely done for the day. It is way later than usually, and I'm all, I've almost been streaming for four hours. I think I'm gonna split the stream into two YouTube videos. Creativity off the rails. Yeah. Man. I will have to think about that. Next stream will be uh, next Monday. As per usual. I will rest my voice now. Car cat almost killed it again. A little bit. Because I did not warm up my voice today. Usually I do a little bit of a warm up before streams. And then it is pretty good, but today, I don't know, today, out of some reason, Carcat killed me a little bit again. And then the Nipita voice happened, and suddenly Nipita healed my voice, and I could go for a little longer. <laughs> that was what happened today. And yeah, it is late. I will probably end the stream here. And maybe, maybe when I, when I, when I think of something that I want to discuss from the stream, I'm just gonna bring it up next time. Well, that was the stream for today. Thank you very much for watching, for hanging out, for dealing with my bullshit. I am apologize again for misreading so many things today. I don't know what was going on. ADHD was pretty bad today. Just got better towards the end when I was more focused. But early stream was horrific in my opinion with me just getting overwhelmed and just misreading words over and over but yeah thanks for bearing with me hope you guys had fun and i'm gonna end the stream here see you guys next monday for more homestuck have a good rest of the day night whatever time it is where you're at and see you next time. I wave. You don't see it. And I don't have arms. But I still wave mentally. See you next Monday. Goodbye. Goodbye. Goodbye.